All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Cheatham Street Relics out on the road today. It's Wednesday, the 19th of October. A little chilly today. It's like 50, 51 degrees. It's like 12 o'clock noon. So I thought I'd get out and do a little ride today. Um, I was watching a video on YouTube, I guess the other night. It was uh, Comic Con 2022, and they interviewed uh, Christopher Lloyd and Michael J. Fox, of course, from Back to the Future. But Back to the Future, they made, I think, three of those. And, and to me, anytime they did sequels of movies like that, I always thought the first one, especially in, in Back to the Future, I always liked the first one better. Now, the other two were okay, but in that particular uh, sequel, I liked the original Back to the Future. I actually went and saw that in a the movie theater when I was little. It would have been in the early 80s. Uh, we grew up sort of poor, so, well, I'll say... My mom and dad were poor. They kind of drug us into it, me and my sister. But anyway, we didn't go to a lot of a lot of movie theaters and stuff. We did go, I do remember going to see Back to the Future when it came out, the original the original one we saw. I don't think we saw any of the other two in, the, in theaters or whatever. But uh, yeah, it was a good video, the interview with those two. Uh, Christopher Lloyd, he's like, I think he's like 83 years old. And Michael J. Fox is like 61. Of course, Michael J. Fox, as a lot of people know, he's got Parkinson's uh, really bad. He's had it for, gosh, probably since he was like 29, 30 years old, I think. So he's had it for a long time. And it's really progressed. I'm glad to see, you know, he still gets out and does some uh, interviews and does some uh, video stuff. But he's, it's just sad to, to see how, what kind of shape he's in. You know, next to uh, Christopher Lloyd, Christopher Lloyd is like a gets around like a teenager basically compared to Michael J. Fox. And, and like I said, he's a lot older. But I enjoyed watching the the uh, they've done a lot of reunions and stuff over the years uh, since the movies came out. And uh, Christopher Lloyd and Michael J. Fox were like, I think, you know, probably got along on the movie set better than any of them. So. You always seem to see them two together uh, on videos and stuff. But I enjoyed watching the interview and listening to them uh, on there. And actually, I've got a, I've got a, uh, well, if you can see it here, a Time Machine t-shirt, DeLorean Time Machine t-shirt. And I was thinking today about that video and I thought I'll drag that out of the closet and wear that today. Yeah, I enjoyed watching that as a kid in the movie theater. And like I said, we were poor. We didn't go see a lot of movies. And we did have a, uh, a drive-in movie theater, which was real close to where we lived. I think it was called the French Village Drive-In. That was in southern Illinois, where we lived when I was a kid. And it was actually so close to our house, our, our mobile home we lived in, that we could see it from our, from our yard. We could see the movie screen. And the first movie that I can remember, I'm almost 50 years old, so my memory's not perfect, but the first movie I can remember seeing on that big screen uh, drive-in was Amityville Horror. And I think it was, it, it might have been the, the part two. Of course, they made several of those uh, over the years. It might have been, because I think the first one came out in like 79. The second one come out in like, I don't know, 80, 82 maybe, something like that. So it might have been the second one, because I was born in 74, so, you know, I was pretty young. It, I'd have been pretty young for either one of them. You know, of course, I don't think parents really shielded their, their kids as much back then as they do now. Uh, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know, really, but, you know, our parents didn't really shield us from you know, violent movies, stuff like that, so, but yeah, I remember seeing that Amityville, and that's another one I always liked, the first one, now, I think they made a lot of good sequels on that, I, I was always fascinated by the Amityville uh, horror story, I read up on that a lot over the years, and kept up with it, and uh, actually, the guy, the DeFeo guy, Ronnie DeFeo, I think he actually uh, died in prison, not too awful long ago, maybe, but anyway, that was one we saw, 
I remember seeing uh, his 80s movies were always my favorites. Uh, of course, The Breakfast Club, Back to the Future, that was one of my favorites. Uh, what's another one? Oh, Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf, that was another Michael J. Fox movie that they made a couple of. Again, I liked the first one probably better than any of them, where he's up there surfing on top of the uh, van. His dad's a, a hardware store van. That was just a, a really cool movie for the time. I don't know. There's several of the movies. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. That's a cool one. You know, uh, John Candy, uh, who's fast now, and uh, Steve Martin. That's a classic if you've ever seen that one. And that's based around Thanksgiving. And I try to watch that around. I got the DVD. I try to pull that out and watch it uh, a lot of times around Thanksgiving if I think about it. Uh, that was just a hilarious movie from start to finish. I love that movie. Of course, anything with John Candy in it and Steve Martin was funny anyway. They were two great comedian, uh, comedic actors. So, but yeah, I just I, I watched that Comic Con thing and got to thinking about all the old movies uh, from back in the 80s. And I have fond memories of going to watch those those movies. You know, on, uh, whether it was in, uh, most of them were in movie theaters. Uh, like I said, we didn't get to go a lot to movie theaters, so it was always a treat when we did. Just like, just like fast food when we were growing up, you know, we didn't get to go to McDonald's all the time. If we went to McDonald's, it was, it was a special treat. You know, we, we really enjoyed going. I think a lot of kids nowadays, fast food is just, uh, even for my kids, fast food is just sort of a commonplace thing to stop in and grab something at McDonald's. But when I was growing up, you know, we didn't go to McDonald's uh, very often or, or fast food places. Uh, my parents just really didn't even, actually didn't go out to eat much at all for whatever reason. We never did go out to eat much. And like I said, if it was, we went to McDonald's, it was a, a special treat. We didn't go very much. But let me know in the comments what your favorite 80s movies uh, were. Uh, those are some of mine. Like I said, I've got fond memories of going to video uh, or going to uh, movie theaters and drive-ins and stuff and seeing those movies. Uh, there's some newer movies that I like as well, but uh, those are some of my favorites from the 80s. Just like the music. I'm the same way with music. You know, 80s, 90s, the hair bands, Skid Row, and uh, Def Leppard, and all that, you know, Poison. I still have all those CDs and like to listen to those. And, uh, I'm just kind of, I should grow my hair out, I guess. But I don't know. I, I, I've always liked the 80s movies, the 80s and early 90s uh, music and stuff. But anyway, I just I was just thinking about that. And like I said, I, I pulled my uh, DeLorean Time Machine t shirt out of the closet today. And uh, I thought I'd wear it because I was thinking about that video. But go on YouTube and look at that. It's the Comic Con 2022, and it's uh, it's the uh, interview with Chris Christopher Lloyd and Michael J. Fox. And if you like that movie, that's a it's a good interview. Like I said, I feel feel sorry. Uh, it's hard to watch. I mean, really, Michael J. Fox is really his Parkinson's has progressed so bad. He's he's really in bad shape. And, uh, but like I said, if you like that movie, go watch that that video. It's it's real interesting. Uh, as always, to listen to them too. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you on the next video.